Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an important topic that affects millions of people around the world, HIV RNA test accuracy. I'm your host, and in this video, we'll be exploring what an HIV RNA test is, how it works, and discussing its reliability in detecting HIV infection. So, let's get started. Firstly, what exactly is an HIV RNA test? Well, it's a specialized laboratory test that looks for the presence of the HIV virus in a person's bloodstream. Unlike traditional HIV tests, which detect antibodies produced by the body in response to the infection, the RNA test directly looks for the genetic material of the virus, known as RNA. The HIV RNA test is typically performed using a technique called polymerase chain reaction PCR, which amplifies the amount of viral RNA present in the sample, making it easier to detect. This test is incredibly sensitive and can detect the presence of the virus much earlier than other tests, even during the acute phase of infection. Now, let's talk about accuracy. HIV RNA tests are known for their high sensitivity and specificity. Sensitivity refers to the test's ability to correctly identify those who are infected with HIV, while specificity measures its ability to accurately identify those who are not infected. Studies have shown that HIV RNA tests have a very high sensitivity, ranging from 95% to 99%. This means that they are highly effective at detecting the presence of the virus in individuals who are infected. However, it's important to note that false negatives can still occur, especially during the early stages of infection when the viral load might be low. False negatives can happen for various reasons. For example, if the test is performed too soon after exposure, the viral load might not be high enough to be detected. Additionally, technical errors during sample collection or processing can also lead to false negatives. Therefore, it's crucial to follow the recommended testing guidelines and consult with healthcare professionals for accurate interpretation of results. On the other hand, false positives are relatively rare with HIV RNA tests. These tests are designed to be highly specific, meaning they have a low likelihood of indicating HIV infection when a person is not actually infected. However, in some cases, false positives can occur due to laboratory errors, cross-contamination, or rare instances of non-HIV genetic material being mistakenly identified as HIV RNA. Confirmatory testing is always recommended to rule out false positives. In conclusion, HIV RNA tests are valuable tools in the early detection of HIV infection. They offer high sensitivity and specificity, making them reliable in most cases. However, it's essential to remember that no test is 100% perfect. If you have concerns about your HIV status, it's crucial to get tested regularly, follow testing guidelines, and consult with healthcare professionals for accurate interpretation of your results. That's it for today's video. We hope you found this information helpful and informative. If you have any questions or want to share your experiences, please leave a comment below. 
Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Thank you for watching, and stay healthy.